And we move on to the uneven bars with Larissa Miller from Australia. Only competing on the bars, but of course, she was our World Championship bar finalist. So, Liz, we can expect something special here from young Larissa Miller. Yes, Miller's a real joy to watch on this apparatus. Technically very smooth, beautiful program. Let's hope she can put it together today. Connecting straight through to the high bar. Inside stall to half. Front giant. Adler right through to handstand. Well, well, that's well done. Through to another very nice element. The Jaeger hires a kite. Handstand lines are just beautiful. Inside Stalter. Stall to full. Plenty in this routine. And pull in, back out, dismount. Terrific routine from Miller. What an outstanding effort. She's, of course, only competing in the uneven bars. Got a slight calf strain, but great job in her one moment in this competition. And there we see her stall to full. Her full pirouette element, which satisfies the requirements, the compositional requirements. And nice and clean legs together. Great dismount from Miller. Miller executes a pretty impressive performance, comes away with a 14.2. Back now with Rebecca Bross from America. Wanting that gold medal on the beam, here she goes. And Bross using a wolf turn for her full turn on one leg. Standing Arabian, hard to do. Needs a lot of leg power. Front aerial, flip, layout. Lots of girls using that as a combination. Almost the compulsory optional series. Deep jump. The feet need to be head height to get that counted. Part of the routine coming up. Side Sammy. So far, so good. Quite a steady worker here. Front Sammy. Oh, she slipped down onto the beam. Now that will be counted as a fall, a fall onto the apparatus. It's going to test her mental strength here. Doesn't look too phased. An Arabian double front, no trouble. Oh, she's tough mentally, that one. Good job there from Rebecca Bross. And here we have the, what I call compulsory optional series. Everyone seems to be doing it because they just get a good score to do it. And front summy, just one foot slips down, the knee goes on, the hands onto the beam, and that's counted as a fall. Well, marks for execution, 8.05, a total of 14.350. And the standings after four rotations, Canada still in front, of course, their competition's over. It's then America, China, and the Australians in fourth. And having a look at the all-around standings, Vakalik leads the way at the moment. But keep an eye on Rebecca Bross and Alexander Raceman in third and fourth. Emily Little in seventh from Australia. Coming up, it's the medals on the line as the Americans tackle the floor. The gold medal in the balance. Welcome back to High Sense Arena in Melbourne for the fifth and final rotation. The Australians will complete this competition on beam. Emma Collister will get things underway for the green and gold. And of course, of all the apparatus that you don't want to finish on trying to catch a medal, it's beam. It's the one that's hardest to compete on and very hard to compete on when there's pressure. Collister opening with the front aerial. 
through to a round off series. Not so sure she'll get that connected or paid rather. Australians need impressive performances here under the pressure. I think we've calculated, uh, Dan, we need around about 13 per gymnast to assure ourselves of a bronze medal. But I did note we're only 0.15 away from China. Absolutely in striking distance. It's up to the girls now. Test their resolve. Nice high side summy from Collister. She's the national junior champion. Bright future indeed. <laughs> Round off double tuck and a good opening routine from Collister sets the tone for the Australian team on this apparatus. And there's the front aerial. You can see the arm wave and then the round off. That is supposed to be her acrobatic series, but I'm thinking that the judges may not pay her, so that's at least a 0.5 penalty for one of the compositional requirements being missing. She's actually got a twin sister, Liz, from Melbourne, so great to have the family here. Gets a 12.8. So a decent performance there from Collister. Back onto the floor with the Americans, Kyla Ross. They are staring at a gold medal. And by a lot of points I can see. Double Arabian, what a landing. Beautiful. Expect some fireworks from this American team. She's like a cat when she lands. She's got perfect timing. Which split half, good amplitude. One and a half twist. Through to a clean double twist. Sky high double tuck to finish. She's just remarkably good on all her landings. Remember the name, Kyla Ross from America. Fantastic performance from the youngest member of this team, only 13 years of age. Outstanding. And watch this double Arabian. She just seems to know where she is. The front landings, of course, being the most difficult. But she times it so well. Likewise with this full in. And a score of 14.15. Coach is pretty happy about that. And on to the Chinese team now, Qishan Huang on the vault. And in a way, bad news for Australia because uh, matching beam and vault scores, although we're only 0.15 ahead, uh, behind China, they've got the advantage of uh, just being a single skill apparatus. And most of these girls are vaulting double twists, so it's a 5.8 difficulty score. Comes away with a 14.52, Liz. Exceptional score for Huang. We go back now to the beam with the Australian. Here's one of our juniors, Georgia Rose Brown, being likened to Olympian Lisa Skinner. So let's see how she goes on this apparatus. Georgia Rose is very elegant and is known for her gorgeous body lines. Building her program, of course, she's still a junior. Nice front summy. She's the national junior beam champion, so if anyone can perform well here, it's Georgia Rose Brown. This is her first national team, 
And so far, handling the pressure well. Oh, oh dear. Spoke too soon, Liz. I did. Uh, always very disconcerting that they're so tough, they just get straight back up and go. Have to put that out of their mind and just get on with the rest of the routine. Such a mental game. I put the mistake in a series less down to mental and more down to technical. I think the foot just happened to slip off the beam. I don't think there was too much uh, mental lapses going on there. Finishing with a double twist, showing a lot of courage in that beam routine. Not only suffering the problems of the fall, but I suppose in some ways a, a, the embarrassment that might go with it. Let's see what happens with the foot. Just slip down the side. Well, she picked herself up and continued on the routine. Great work there from Georgia Rose Brown. Top marks to her. Looking for around 13. She gets a 12.5. Oh, it's going to be tight. It's going to be very tight, Liz. Jordan Weber from America is back on the floor and expects something special here. She is all power. Whoa, look at the height on that. And it's truly difficult to believe that she hasn't competed in 12 months. She just handles it with great aplomb, doesn't she? She's an athlete to watch definitely at the next Olympic Games. That's her dream. Certainly showing she's enjoying performing in front of uh, the crowd. Very expressive. Short on the triple turn and really the only noticeable mistake in this routine so far. Well done, Jordan Weaver from America. She's been faultless all evening. Fantastic performance from the youngster. Two and a half, front layout, the front layout, head height. Quite often we see a decrease in height, but she took it up even a little bit more. Good double pike. Been one of the best for Team USA, reflected in the score of 14.450. Back now onto the vault, Tong Jiang of China. Chasing the minor medals. Of course, the rivalry between China and US shouldn't go unnoticed, although I don't think that China can catch US. Of course, they're the Olympic champions, and US went into the Beijing Olympic Games fully expecting to win and uh, made some mistakes, and China was there ready to take it from them. Scoring a 14.3 execution of nine. And we go back onto the floor. Rebecca Bross for Team USA. As we know, in the running for the individual all-around gold here. Silver medal at last year's World Championships. Ross has rather a serious demeanor. And look at that, a front whip through to a double front. To my knowledge, only girl in the world performing that at the moment. One and a half through to double twist forward. Once again, a very hard combination.